Hi everyone, Okasop here, dear YouTubers, and I'm back with a new map breaking concept. Uh, that's which is not this one. You've probably seen this laser thingy uh, on the internet before since the last snapshots. But I'm gonna talk about this one. I think that's the first. I quite like it, and as you can see, it hurts. So. How did I manage to make it move? Here's the solution. Find cut command block with a particle command in there. Uh, I've chosen the red dust because, well, it's red and that's cool. Uh, yeah, the X, the Y and Z coordinates, I've put 5 for one simple reason. Uh, it will actually indicate uh, the source of the particles and if you don't put if you simply put relative 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 uh, the common block will be the center and as you can see if you go far from the source the particles get fewer and fewer so here's the greatest concentration of these so you don't need many 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 particles to make it good look good um, there you have another X, Y, Z, but for another thing is the the way the particles are going to be generated. So here is the Y, so if I change that to X, as you can see that's another axis and if for example I put another 5 with the Z, as you can see there is plane now with particles and that's beautiful. Let's come back to 0, 5, 0. Here is the color, so I can put anything that's absolutely ridiculous. Um, let's come back to 0. And here is the amount of particles you want. You can get higher, but it will probably make you, your computer slow down a bit. Um, I don't recommend that actually. <laughs> 200 is quite cool, I think, for this one. Um, well, as you can see, it is moving, and that's moving in a way uh, I think is intelligence. Uh, my my cart is smart. That's cool. Um, the idea is that you have all the system there. Um, here you have a very fast clock with a fill command, which creates uh, these five uh, redstone blocks: one, two, three, four, and another one up there. Um, these are constantly replaced and placed and replaced, which creates a very fast, very fast clock. Um, well, and these do very great things, and it doesn't use much use much RAM because, well, it doesn't even render. Then you have the heart of the system, the heart of the teleportation, which is here. Um, as you can see. Here is the place where the minecarts can go, and the type minecart command block. The idea is that it's a rectangular selection. That's new with the new snapshots. Um, X, Y, Z are the first, uh, the first coordinates you want the selection uh, to, to start with. Um, the X, the Y, and the Z are the relative coordinates depending on the first ones there, which create the the, um, the selection. It is not like uh, Wall did it, for example. Type equals minecart command block. It's simple for security. Uh, if you have something like that in there, it will not be teleported. And here you have a relative, relative, and minus. Uh, minus a <laughs> very, very, very short amount. Um, why a very, very, very short? Because if you increase that, the particles will get messy and you will not have one laser, you will have something like a, an ugly plane or something like that. That's absolutely ridiculous. Um, then you have this idea that the minecart goes from right to left and left to right and how it's possible um, these two command blocks are actually checking um, for minecart command block um, at two very specific location 
this block which is there and this one which is there and if it detects one it will simply replace and that's where the system it's is interesting because it uh, it evolves depending on the circumstance so if a mine cards common block is detected there this common block will be replaced that's important to specify destroy there so that the common is actually resetted um, and the teleportation is changed so if it was a plus there it becomes a minus so that the common blocks and uh, the mine card goes in the other direction in the other way and all the other part of the system is not very com uh, complex uh, well <laughs> no it's not complex uh, it's quite big I could have compacted this but it would have been absolutely incredibly complex to explain how it works so as you can see there's something detected here that's the exact position of the minecart there's quite a strange thing there because well logically the minecart cannot be at two different places at the same time but with the latest snapshots um, it seems to be <laughs> a little bit tricky so as you can see these are simply test for commands minecart command blocks in one block specif uh, uh, one specified block this one this one this one or this one and what it will do it will replace that's another thing another set block of common block for this one which is the kill uh, the kill option uh, it can be absolutely anything it could be a test for for example if you want to uh, well some play some signal play some uh, play some music or something <laughs> if someone uh, is detected by the system um, you can put a test for you can put absolutely everything there i i like the kill no nah, no nah, nah. so um, as you can see it's another rectangular selection so that even if uh, a guy comes and jump to try to escape because most of the people would think only the latest row is uh, well a kill kind of machine but if you try to jump as you can see you're killed too because all the laser is lethal I think that's all uh, well um, I think I will probably do a lot of more videos uh, concerning map making concepts uh, like this one for for to make to create systems that evolve with time um, or some other things I've found some incredibly interesting things with Team Sibir uh, a very short time ago we're working on several projects I have a few maps on the road um, well, that's kind of cool. If you have some ideas, uh, don't forget to comment. If you liked it in this video, simply like it, uh, share it, favorite it. Oh yeah! <laughs> um, well, if you really liked it, don't forget to subscribe. That's really appreciate, and you'll probably like the other videos. I think that's all for today, guys. Um, so bye. <laughs>